Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Jillian Eusebi. I'm an administrative assistant here at Tenaris. Um, on behalf of Tenaris and our team members here um, in the room this evening, I'm pleased to welcome you here tonight in person um, for the 2022 Tenaris Female Athletic Awards. Tenaris consists of a network of manufacturing facilities, service yards, and commercial offices that spans across the globe. We are constantly growing and have many opportunities within. Our operations in Canada include a service centre in St. John's, Newfoundland, as well as manufacturing, threading and service operations in Calgary, Nisku, Grand Prairie, Alberta, and Canada's only seamless pipe facility right here in our very own beautiful Sault Ste. Marie. I am very honoured to be here tonight this evening to represent Tenaris and take part in the celebration of all of your accomplishments. To all of the female athletes, you have worked very hard and deserve all of the recognition you have received this evening, so congratulations. Your commitment, sorry. <laughs> Your commitment and determination are the qualities that companies look for. Tenera strongly believes in education and training. You are what the future needs, and that is why I am very happy to announce that I will be representing a special award this evening to recognize a person who not only is a successful, successful athlete, but also has high achievements within their grades. Before we begin, I would also like to ask that recipients stick around afterwards just for a few moments to stick around for a few pictures. Thank you. Good evening. At this time, I'd like to introduce Hannah Hamanen, a grade 12 student from Superior Heights to sing O Canada. She's a girl of many talents, and I'm sure you'll see her name many times up here tonight. So please welcome Hannah to sing O Canada. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. The Algoma District is a district and census division in northeastern Ontario. Traditionally and throughout history, Indigenous peoples residing in the district of Algoma, comprising of the Ojibwe, Odawa, Pot Potawatomi, Oji Cree, Mississauga, Algonquin, and Metis peoples, have lived on the land in harmonious balance with the land. These earth honoring people believed that sharing the, the earth with all of the earth's creatures and living in a small footprint was fundamental and that walking gently upon the earth on the right road given to them by the creator, Gichimandidu, was paramount. They share these ideologies in the oral traditions given to them by the Great Spirit. Let us acknowledge these teachings as we go forward with our gathering today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Athletes Grace. 
As we gather here tonight to give thanks for our year of athletics, may we reflect on the blessings that we have received. Thank you, Lord, for granting our athletes with strength, courage, resilience, and endurance to fulfill their potential. Thank you also for the many blessings of good food, guidance from coaches, camaraderie of teammates, unending support from family and friends, and the memories of a great athletic season, which we will no longer take for granted. For this we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good evening, my name is Kim Policiccio, and I'm part of the Sault Ste. Marie Women's Athletic Association. And on behalf of them, I'd like to thank everyone and Tenaris for coming to this banquet tonight. Uh, before I let start though, I'd like to recognize the wonderful women of this association that have made the night possible. From St. Mary's, we have Michelle Guzzo. From Superior Height, Terry Lynn Delapenta. And from White Pines, Wendy Baswell. And just a bit of housekeeping before we start, there is coffee, a coffee station at the back if you're interested. Um, the athletic awards have been going on since 1974. And for that special night, all the athletes get dressed up to celebrate their athletic accomplishments from the past year. Then we get to look back at the pictures of those who've won, and we don't get to hear much about their accomplishments after high school athletics. And when it comes down to it, most of these athletes um, have ha do have success after high school. As an association, we decided it would be special to bring back some of our past winners who, in high school, showed their athletic prowess and how they are represented in our community today. Tonight's MC is Virginia McLeod, previously known as Virginia Tessier. The name might sound familiar as Virginia is one of the biggest advocates for physical activity in our city as she is the manager of recreation and culture. Virginia was the Percy Bedford, Percy Bedford winner um, from Bawadine a few years back. She was a multi-sport athlete who excelled in cross country, basketball, volleyball, track, and was even a closet badminton player. After high school, Virginia went to Western where she was involved in extracurriculars and other athletics and eventually became a teacher and coached many sports along the way. She can still be found on the soccer pitch kicking around the ball with some of the city's best. I'm pleased to introduce tonight Miss Virginia McLeod. Good evening everybody. Um, and thank you, it's a pleasure to be here tonight amongst all these wonderful athletes. Um, so we'll get the night started. Each year, Tenaris partners with the Sault Ste. Marie Women's Athletic Association to recognize and celebrate the top female athletes in their respective sports from schools throughout the city. The following nominees were selected by their coaches to represent their school for their outstanding play, sportsmanship, and positive attitude. Without further ado, here are the 2021-2022 Tenaris Award nominees. We'll begin with cross country. The nominees for cross country from Cora Collegiate are Ella Haas. You cannot ask much more from Ella. Even though she was in grade 11, Ella was a leader on the cross country team. She has an extraordinary work ethic and her dedication to the sport is second to none. She mentored the younger athletes and always did so with a smile on her face. She placed third at City and 22nd at NASA. Cora looks forward to see what she can accomplish next year from Cora Collegiate, Ella Haas. <laughs> from Notre Dame de Sioux, Kaylee J. Frost. Kaylee, <laughs> Kaylee J. is a joy to coach and to be around. She has compassion for her fellow teammates and worked hard to better herself. Competing at NASA, she was able to improve her time by 43 seconds, even amongst the hilly terrain. Notre Dame de Sioux is proud to present Miss Kaylee J. Frost. From White Pines, Kaylee Seabrook. 
<laughs> Kaylee is a natural runner. She has perfect form, endless cardio, and a willingness to compete. She may seem shy and quiet, but once you unleash her on the running trails, look out. Her competitive spirit will take over. Kaylee placed eighth at the city meet and earned a trip to NASA where she placed 32nd overall. Kaylee is an extremely polite and coachable athlete whose dedication will lead to even greater results in the future. White Pines is proud to nominate Kaylee Seabrook as its cross country nominee. <laughs> From Superior Heights, Hannah Hamanen. Hannah exudes dedication, determination, and maturity in all that she does. As a top female senior runner, she balanced being on both the basketball team and the cross country team by getting a jump start on the cross country workouts and then joining her basketball team for practice after. She never slacked off. She set an example for her peers of what that kind of dedication can result in. Superior Heights is so proud of all of Hannah has accomplished. From Superior Heights, Hannah Hamanen. From St. Mary's College, Kira Lamming. St. Mary's College is proud to name Kira Lamming as their Teneris nominee for the 2021 cross country season. Kira is a grade 11 student who has run in maroon and white in both 2019 and 2021 seasons. This year, she placed seventh at the city championship and achieved a personal best on a very challenging NASA course. She is a leader through her dedication and practice and quiet determination when out on the trails. Congratulations, Kira. St. Mary's College appreciates your contributions and is looking forward to another year of running with you. From St. Mary's College, Kira Lamb. The nominees for basketball are from Superior Heights, Sadie Grawbarger. Sadie exemplifies what it means to be a Steelhawk. She is a total package as an athlete. She brings a great mix of leadership and skill to our program with the ability to take over offensively. Sadie leads by example. She has a tireless work ethic and truly practices like she plays. Sadie also brings the best out in her teammates. Superior Heights proudly nominates Sadie Grawbarger as their basketball nominee this year. <laughs> From Cora Collegiate, Ava Engel. <laughs> Ava was the heartbeat of a very impressive Cora basketball team. She led Cora in both rebounding and scoring. She shut down any defender she was up against and was dominant in help side defense, which was the major reason Cora won both the league and city championship. Ava is always a positive voice and very supportive of her teammates. Every day she comes ready to compete and never takes a day off. Ava is a model athlete, student athlete, and a major reason for the success this year at Cora. Congratulations, Ava. From St. Mary's College, Ella Zachary. St. Mary's College is proud to present Ella Zachary as the Basketball Teneris nominee. Ella is a well-rounded athlete that brought a strong work ethic and natural scoring ability to the Knights this year. She led St. Mary's College in scoring, averaging 10 points a game, and was one of the league's leaders in three points made. She was an integral part of the Lady Knights team as she helped win a semifinal matchup, move on to the city finals, losing only by three points. Only in grade 11, Ella will return to St. Mary's in September, helping the Knights pursue a city and NASA championship for 2022. Congratulations, Ella. <laughs> From Superior Heights, 
from White Pines, Elise Bowman. It's truly unfortunate that the nominee from White Pines only got to play two seasons of basketball. She could have developed into a dominant player if given more time, but she was still a great player who continuously improved. In her final year, she consistently led the team in scoring, rarely missed a practice, and was a true leader um, during practices and games. For most of the season, she did not get much rest because she was needed at both ends of the floor and we suffered from a small bench. She developed into quite a player and was a standout this year for White Pines, while also being recognized for combining skill and sportsmanship with the referee's award. White Pines will miss her scoring, her rebounding, her court awareness, her hard work and determination. Elise, AKA Slice, <laughs> your coaches wish you all the best next year and in the years that follow, they have no doubt you will be successful in whatever you decide to do. Thank you for your years of dedication to White Pines. You'll be missed. The nominee from White Pines, Elise Bowman. The Tenaris nominees for volleyball are from White Pines, Emily James. White Pine struggled a bit this year with consistency and once again had a small team which got smaller because of interruptions to the season. But that didn't matter to Emily. She always came to practices and games ready to work hard and improve. She was just so happy to be out there on the court again. She is definitely one of the quieter athletes but she certainly knows how to lead by example. She was always setting up the net, encouraging her teammates to get out onto the court so she could get to work. Emily wasn't the tallest power out there, but she sure could definitely hit a ball. She was one of those players who didn't, didn't want to see a ball hit the floor, and whether in a game or practices, she had the bruises to prove it. She is a fierce competitor with tremendous work ethic who played her heart out for her teammates and her school. She will certainly be difficult to replace next year. Thank you for bleeding green and white, Emily, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Now go bend some forks. The nominee from White Pines is Emily James. From Superior Heights, Juliet Lamour. Since her junior season, Juliet has always dedicated herself to the sport of volleyball. She is always striving to become the best player she can be. Juliet is a talented setter who graciously moves about the court with poise and effortlessness. She is a leader among her peers, highly motivated, and most of all, most, sorry, and most of all, extremely coachable as a player. Juliet is the first person on the court and the last to leave. She is passionate, dedicated, and a fierce competitor. She has a positive attitude when your team is down by five and will serve 10 in a row to put you ahead. Juliet, is an, it's an honor to coach as a player and even more as a person. Superior Heights is proud to nominate Juliet as the Tenaris nominee for the 2022 senior volleyball season. <laughs> From Cora Collegiate, Taya Veneri. <laughs> Taya's drive and desire to compete and improve her skill during her volleyball career has always managed to impress the coaches who have had the pleasure of having her as part of their teams. She be been, she's been willing to take on any role asked for and has shown to be a leader on the teams that she has been a part of. She leads by example through her actions and attitude, providing support to her teammates all around. She always has been willing to greet both her teammates in competition with a ready smile and tough competition. This athletic drive is balanced off the court with her academic performance, striving to do her best in all aspects of her school life at Cora. From Cora Collegiate, Taya Veneri. From St. Mary's College, 
Gracie Zagordo. As a grade 12 student, Gracie Zagordo has been a consistent leader for the St. Mary's team. Her work ethic and consistency on the court gave her team the confidence it needed to be successful throughout the season. A four-year volleyball player at St. Mary's College, Gracie was always a role model for the other student athletes. Her drive and dedication to the sport was evident as she continuously improved upon her skill. Gracie developed into a tremendous volleyball player and leader for the Lady Knights. She will be missed next year. Your coaches wish you all the best at Laurier. They are lucky to have you. This year's nominee for the Tenaris Volleyball Award from St. Mary's College is Gracie Zagordo. From Notre Dame de Sioux, Nadia Lacasse. A well-rounded young player with the will to learn the middle hitter's position, Nadia would always bring a smile and laugh to all the practices and games. She is a true pleasure to coach. Notre Dame de Sioux is extremely proud to nominate Nadia Lacasse as the Tenaris Volleyball Award for 2021. The nominees for the Bob Fott Curling Award are from St. Mary's College, Romy Araba. <laughs> Romy was a skip on a rookie St. Mary's College girls curling team. From the first time she stepped on the ice, she has been learning the game in leaps and bounds. Romy was always excited to go to the rink and learn and practice her technique. She quickly applies information into every situation. Her enthusiasm is contagious and it is the glue that keeps the team improving. Her coaches anticipate that Romy and the St. Mary's curling team will be serious contenders next season. From St. Mary's College, Romy Araba. <laughs> From White Pines, Ashlyn Acorn. Ashlyn's a positive, outgoing player. She keeps the team engaged and energized. She is a very accomplished curler who helped her team with the city and league championship in the boys' division. Ashlyn's determination and de dedication make her one of the best curlers in the city. From White Pines, Ashlyn Acorn. <laughs> From Superior Heights, Caitlin Robinson. Caitlin is an enthusiastic and eager young curler who was the skip for the Superior Heights team. Her knowledge of the game and ease to coach has played a crucial role to her success as a first year skip. She seldom misses a practice or game and you can find her playing and practicing on a regular basis. Her confidence, sense of humor, skill and leadership make her an ideal Tenaris nominee. From Superior Heights, Caitlin Robinson. From Cora Collegiate, Ava Engel. <laughs> Ava is a grade 11 student at Cora and future student trustee for the Algoma District School Board. She dem demonstrated great dedication and sportsmanship to curling the season, ultimately helping her team win the city championship. She was always kind and welcoming to her team members and other players on and off the ice. The Cora coaches are excited to see what Ava and her team can do next season. From Cora Collegiate, Ava Engel. The nominees for Babington are from Notre Dame de Sioux, Gabrielle Gutierrez. Notre Dame de Sioux's badminton nominee this year is Gabrielle Gutierrez. She is a 10th grade student who is in her first year of badminton. She was an athlete that got stronger with every game as the season went on. She showed determination, 
perseverance, a willingness to learn, a great attitude, as well as being a great team player. Notre Dame is pleased to introduce to you its 2022 badminton nominee, Gabrielle Gutierrez. <laughs> From Superior Heights, Ashley Christensen. Superior Heights is proud to nominate Ashley Christensen as the Tenaris representative for badminton. As a grade nine student, it is intimidating to practice and play with the older students who have more experience. However, Ashley came to the practice every day, ready and willing to learn from her coach and her peers with a smile in her eyes. I'm sure she was smiling behind her mask as well. Ashley worked hard at every drill to improve her technique and learn the game. It never mattered what position she played. She was always willing to try and listen to the advice that was given to her. Once it was decided she would play mixed, she kept her partner in line and was the glue to their partnership. She improved every set at the city championship and began to use more strategy and power at NASA. The future of badminton is bright for you, Ashley, and your coaches look forward to working with you over the next three years. Congratulations, Ashley Christensen. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. Cora is proud to nominate Madeline as her Tenaris nominee. Madeline is a versatile athlete who is natural on the badminton court. She won the ladies' senior singles title without dropping a match. She faced a tough draw at NASA, finishing fourth, but managed to beat club players along the way. Cora will miss Madeline's leadership on the court next year. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. From St. Mary's College, Ashlyn Noble. This fierce competitor always plays with a steely glint in her eyes and resolved to give all she has, body and soul. Ashlyn battled through injury and rehabilitated a torn ACL to become a dominant force on the court, always striving to improve her form and her technique. Ashlyn proudly represented St. Mary's College in the senior ladies singles division placing second at the city championship and laying down a very honorable showing at NASA, exactly matching that of her fellow Sault Ste. Marie competitor and fellow badminton nominee. St. Mary's College is proud to know that this dynamic competitor with a heart of gold will return to our courts next year and bring the heat in another year of singles action. From St. Mary's College, Ashlyn Noble. From White Pines, Emily James. <laughs> Teamwork, reliability, adaptability, and coachability are elements that make a strong doubles player in badminton. Emily encompasses all of these traits, whether on the court with her doubles partner or at practice taking on many different roles, including helping younger players. She demonstrated that she has the heart, was the heart of the team. White Pines is proud to nominate Emily James as their Tenaris Badminton nominee. <laughs> the nominees for the Hazel Morrison Award for Track and Field are from Notre Dame de Sioux, Mila Soki. Mila is, a joy to sorry. Mila is a joy to coach and to be around. She has compassion for her fellow teammates and worked hard to better herself at her events. She competed at cities in the 200 meter sprint, long jump and discus during cities, qualifying for her track event at NASA. Despite the unpredictable weather at NASA championship, Mila ran a personal best. Notre Dame de Sioux is so proud to present their nominee for track and field, Mila Zoki. From Superior Heights, Hannah Hamanen. For this year's Track and Field Award, Superior Heights proudly nominates Hannah Hamanen. She, like many others, only has two years of track and field to really work on her events and achieve personal bests 
In both years, Hannah went to OFSA and improved on her times from city and NASA meets. Hannah always leads by example and trains hard when she steps onto the track, encouraging her peers to do the same. A leader on her team and someone that could always be counted on to be helpful and responsible. Hannah will be missed terribly next year and for the years to come. Congratulations on your shortened but fantastic high school track career at Superior Heights, Hannah. From Cora Collegiate, Caitlin Tull. This year's Cora nominee for the sport of track and field is Caitlin Tull. Caitlin is an exceptional multi-sport athlete balancing track and field with multiple other sports, all while maintaining a high honor status at Cora. This year, she took a positive leadership role with a young team by helping run warm-ups and mentoring students in sprints and jumps. Caitlin's hard work paid off in an exceptional performance at the City Track Championships by sprinting to second place finish in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and triple jump. She was the anchor on the 4x100 meter relay who placed first at the City Championship, all contributing to her taking home the Seniors Girl individual title at the City Meet. At the NASA Championship, she placed second in the 200, second in a very competitive 100 meter field and third in triple jump. Caitlin also anchored the senior girls 4x100 meter relay and placed second at NASA. Caitlin was an essential part of the team and will be a huge asset to Cora next year as she continues to develop as an athlete. Congratulations, Caitlin. <laughs> From St. Mary's College, Cassie Sarter. Cassie Sarter is an exceptional athlete whose tenacity shines in both individual and team sports, all while maintaining the highest academic standard in her studies. Cassie has been a dominant force in track and field throughout the years as an athlete. Mirroring her success as a grade nine athlete, Kathy, Cassie placed first in the 100 meter and 200 meter sprints at both city and NASA track and field meets. This year, she anchored her four by 100 meter relay team to a second place finish at the city championships and a gold medal finish at NASA championship meets. At OFSA, battling injuries acquired during NASA soccer, she laid down a 23rd place finish in both the 100 meter and 200 meter sprints, as well as anchoring her team to the 20th place finish of OFSA in the four by 100 meter relay. The Knights track team will truly miss her warm smile, positive never quit attitude and her blazing fast feet. From White Pines, Lexi Pine. The nominee from White Pines competed in all three throwing events, picking up a fifth in javelin, a sixth in discus, and a first in shot put at the city meet. At NASA, she placed third in the shot put and went on to compete at OFSA where she placed 18th. She is only a grade 10 student competing in track and field for the first time at the high school level. She has a lot of natural ability, and with more experience, her coaches expect big things from her in the next couple of years. She is a very coachable athlete who always accepts instruction and wants to get better. She thoroughly enjoyed her offset experience and did it all with a big smile on her face. Next year, her coaches hope to bring out a little more competitiveness in her and to get her to that next level. Congratulations on an excellent season, Lexi. White Pines is proud to nominate Lexi Pine. The nominees for the Tenera Soccer Award are from St. Mary's College, Ava Evans. <laughs> Ava is a multi-sport athlete for St. Mary's College and is a leader both on and off the field. She helped, play, she helped pace the, oh, the St. Mary's soccer team to a first place finish in league play. Ava is a humble and unselfish team player who served as a captain for the Lady Knights. As a fourth year French immersion student, Ava has demonstrated supreme time management, 
as a multi-sport athlete and has maintained an average of 85%. Ava will be attending the University of Ottawa in the fall and is enrolled in an Honours Bachelor of Science program. St. Mary's College nominee, Ava Evans. From Superior Heights, Taya Shackleton. This nominee exemplifies the true representation of a student athlete. She not only brings her competitive edge and skill to the soccer field, but she also excels in the classroom. Taya has demonstrated outstanding sportsmanship throughout the season amongst her teammates, opponents, coaches, and referees. She has excelled in the sport of soccer, making her one of the most exciting yet challenging players on the field. Taya's leadership, sportsmanship, and love of the game is what sets her aside from others. Throughout the season, Taya was looked upon as a leader, someone who can motivate others, score goals, and control the field. She was no doubt Superior Heights' best player, scoring multiple times, assisting with goals, and working hard to win every ball. She showed true perseverance during the end of the season when she was injured, but ensured her team, coaches, opponents that nothing would stop her from competing and always giving her best. She is an incredible athlete, always smiling, and Superior Heights is honored to have you. Superior Heights is proud to nominate Taya Shackleton. <laughs> from White Pines, Leah Gibson. White Pines is pleased to introduce Leah Gibson as a Teneris nominee for soccer. Leah continually demonstrates tenacious spirit and a commitment to her team, using her strong leadership abilities on and off the field. Leah never shies away from a challenge and is always willing to provide support where needed with a smile and gratitude. Her exemplary attitude and skill helped her team grow this year and we couldn't be prouder of her well-rounded performance. You rock, Leah, from White Pines, Leah Gibson. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. <laughs> Throughout the high school soccer season, Ms. Clement was asked to lead her team, and she took on this responsibility with her performance on the field. Ms. Clement was asked to play in all of the center positions on the team, depending on who she was playing against. Player matchups, match scores, and would rotate into other positions on the field as some needed rest. Madeline's defensive leadership shown once the playoffs started and would continue throughout offset. Her quickness, ability to anticipate, situa situational awareness on the field, and her soccer skills are what set her apart. During the past couple months, Cora's coaching staff has witnessed a player with great ability become a mature and humble athlete as she led her team to OFSA. Madeline was a pleasure to coach. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. The nominees for the Graduating Female Athlete of the Year. From White Pines, Elise Bowman. The nominee from White Pines competed in basketball, volleyball, soccer, and track and field this year. When she was finally able to complete a full year of sports for the first time in two years, she was very successful. She improved in every facet of each of the sports she competed in. If only she could have had three years of experience leading into her final year. She could have been, one, she could have been even more successful. In basketball, she led the team in scoring on most nights. In volleyball, she took huge strides this year in spiking and blocking while playing middle. She worked hard in soccer, and even though it wasn't her favorite, and in track and field, she made tremendous improvements in javelin, discus, and shot put just missing out on a trip to Asa for Javelin. She was also an amazing leader for small teams with her vocal leadership as well as her team first attitude. She rarely missed practices and was always one of the first girls out of the change room for practice. 
She did all this while being a player who respected her opponents, the referees, and her coaches. She is currently the type of player that every coach wants on, her on their team, and White Pines will not be the same next year without her. We wish you all the best, Elise, and we have no doubt you will be successful in whatever you decide to do. The nominee from White Pines this year is Elise Bowen. From Superior Heights, Hannah Hamanen. <laughs> Superior Heights is pleased and honored to nominate Hannah Hamanen as her graduating Athlete of the Year. Hannah has been a multi-sport athlete throughout her time at Superior Heights, and this year has been no exception. Even with all the interruptions, pauses, and changes that the pandemic brought, she began the year participating in cross country where she took home the gold at the city championships, second at NASA and 28th at OFSA. While she was training for cross country, she was also playing basketball where she was an integral member of the team. Hannah led her team in points most nights and was top player not only on her team, but in the league as well. After basketball and cross country were finished, Hannah moved on to volleyball where she powered her way with one with her team to a great showing at the city championship. In the spring, Hannah has once again showcased her skills as she soared to first place finishes in the 2000 meter steeplechase at both city and NASA and 22nd at OFSA. She also came first in the 1500 meter run at the city championship and fourth at NASA. Hannah was not, on, was not only a member of the Steelhawk team, but she also played on the soccer team where her fantastic running skills helped her team to a strong third place finish after losing in double overtime. Hannah is the kind of athlete that is a coach's dream. She is dedicated and truly loves her sports. She excels at everything she does, which includes academics, keeping a 95 plus average. Congratulations, Hannah, on such an achievement. You will be extremely missed next year and we wish you nothing but the best as you study to become a dental hygienist. You will be a steel hawk forever. From Superior Heights, Hannah Hamanen. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. Madeline does it all, and she does it all well. Madeline has played an integral role in Cora's success for the past year. Her athletic, resume speaks for itself. She was a league and city champion in basketball, a league and city champion in volleyball, a city champion in badminton, and part of the city championship relay team, and finally, a city and NASA champion in soccer. And if you talk to her coaches, they all had the same thing, had the same thing to say. If we don't have Madeline, we don't win a title. Madeline is an intense athlete who competes with passion and determination in anything that she does. Her competitive edge is what drives her to be successful. She is also part of the Ignite Volleyball Program, which plays second at Provincials, and the Sioux United Soccer Program. <laughs> Madeline's accolades aren't contained to athletics. She excels in the classroom as well. Through playing numerous sports in, the, in and out of school, Madeline was able to maintain a 90% overall average. We expect great things from Madeline in the future. Madeline, your coaches wish you all the best and they will miss you next year. From Cora Collegiate, Madeline Clement. From St. Mary's College, Ava Evans. St. Mary's College is proud to recognize Ava Evans as their nominee for the Graduating Athlete of the Year. Ava is a fierce competitor in the game, but kind, sweet soul to all who cross her path off the court. Add this, a young lady who excels in her academic studies, and you have a complete package. She is an athlete who has demonstrated com complete tenacity, resilience, mental toughness, and sportsmanship in both individual and team sports. She is the voice you hear encouraging her teammates on the victory or lifting them up when the competition is tough. Ava is the teammate that anyone would want to have in their corner. 
Ava has been the heart and soul of her soccer team, both inside high school athletics and as part of the Sioux United, City United soccer team. In addition to this, over the past four years, Ava has also been part of the Knights cross country team, competing at City and NASA championships, the libero for volleyball, a key defensive player on the basketball team, and a dominant force on the St. Mary's track and field team. St. Mary's College is truly blessed to have such a fine young athlete wearing our Knights uniform. We wish you all the best as you pursue your dreams, Ava. Your future is bright. St. Mary's College is proud of this athlete, a true Knight. From St. Mary's College, Ava Evans. Next is the Harvey Morrison Award for Outstanding Contributions to Girls Athletics. This special award is given in memory of Harvey Morrison, the originator and founder of the ACT, now Tenaris Female Athletic Awards Dinner. This award has been established to recognize students from each school whom in the opinion of teachers, coaches, and fellow students has made a significant contribution to the overall athletic program at her school. This is, a, this is a cumulative award acknowledging the contributions by the student throughout her secondary school years. Harvey Morrison was a man who was very aware and appreciative of the efforts made by others, often in the behind the scenes role to guarantee the success and quality of a program. A special plaque has been made for each school and the name of the award winner is added each year to the school's plaque. The recipients will receive a special memento from the Women's Athletic Association. The following athletic directors will be coming up to introduce the awards. First up, I'd like to invite Ms. Kim Policicchio. I am extremely proud to present Cora's Harvey Morrison Award to Kyler Grisdale. Kyler came into grade nine already familiar with Cora as she watched her brother play Cora basketball and already had a passion for the program. Kyler is a reliable, dependable, and selfless student who exemplifies the qualities set out in this award. She has dedicated countless hours for the betterment of the Cora athletic program. This student athlete is always first at practice to help set up and last to leave because she is helping clean up. She's one of the first ones to volunteer when needed. She times and scores both boys basketball and girls volleyball games. She spent countless hours volunteering at Offsa Basketball when we hosted. Kyler, Cora is extremely grateful for all of you have done for our athletic program and your hard work and dedication have not gone unnoticed. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, I'd like to call Ms. Terry Lynn Delapenta. Everyone. Can I get Emily Allard from Superior Heights to come on up here, please? <laughs> I met Emily in grade nine when she entered Superior, when she entered school at Superior Heights as a shy little basketball girl, and she has truly grown into a true leader and someone who I can always count on for help at Superior Heights. She's the first person I go to when I need help with something at school whether it's scoring basketball games, volleyball games, two sports she plays, so she'll do the opposite game. Um, she plays them both, and she does both very well also. She's always willing to help with that and with boys' basketball games. Again, same season as volleyball. She not only scores high school sports, but she's also the first person I go to when we're hosting elementary basketball and volleyball games, getting her help to score with that. She loves sports and simply wants to be involved in any way she can, either as a player, an organizer, or a cheerleader. Thank you, Emily, for all you do for Superior Heights. It's truly appreciated, and I'm happy you'll be back next year to help me once again. Thank you. <laughs> now I'll call Miss Michelle Guzzo from St. Mary's up, please. Here 
me a second here, everyone. There we go. St. Mary's College is very proud to introduce this year's recipient of the Harvey Morrison Award, Gracie Zagordo. Gracie is a helpful, cooperative, and dependable member of St. Mary's College Athletics. She took a leadership role in our St. Mary's Athletics community since entering grade nine. She's assisted with all aspects of athletics like timing and scoring for elementary volleyball and basketball, setting up and assisting with girls volleyball and basketball as well. In addition to helping out in athletics, Gracie has also been the Students Council President this year, continuously looking for new things to do for the students of St. Mary's College and always attending sporting events, rooting on her fellow classmates and teammates. She is also dedicated and an enthusiastic young lady who approaches new learning with confidence and determination. She's also been a member of the girls basketball program for four years and achieved a league, city and NASA title while doing so. Gracie was a valuable teammate on the girls volleyball team this year, helping the Knights reach the city championship and keeping the girls in sync all season long. For teachers and coaches, she has been a reliable, amazing young lady to work with. St. Mary's College would like to thank Gracie for a significant contribution to SMC Athletics. Thank you for making a difference and good luck in your post-secondary studies. Next, we have Mr. Randy Supak from Notre Dame de Sioux. Good evening, and thank you to the athletic directors and Teneris for putting on such a great event. Our nominee from Notre Dame de Sioux is, can't remember her name, Nicole Ayat. <laughs> Our award winner for the Harvey Morrison is what we feel Mr. Morrison was creating the award for. Nicole is an extremely polite and outgoing student athlete. Nikki played volleyball where she was the defensive specialist and captain of the teams, although she only had two years, but we wish we had four. She is always there when you need help in school, sports, extracurriculars, or just to give an encouraging word to her fellow students, athletes, teachers, and coaches. I am extremely proud of this young lady. Although we only had two years together, her stature is not what she is. Her stature is a six foot person. She's an extremely coachable and very loving person. And I would be I'm a little bit touched because this young lady does so much for our school and being a small school we need everything we can to keep people involved in our school and Nikki does every single one of those things. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Leia. Could Elise Bowman and Emily James come on up? Well, this is certainly a first for me, and it may actually be a first for the Tenaris Banquet because uh, I actually have two winners. Uh, we lost a couple of years of athletics, so I was unable to recognize one of them last year. I could not let either one of them end their high school careers without being recognized for their work behind the scenes, not just for their athletic accomplishments. They have both already been up here a couple times, which says a lot about um, everything they do for our school. They both competed in four sports each, maintained excellent academic averages, held down jobs, and still made time to help me organize elementary tournaments, run our school athletic banquet, score basketball and volleyball games, and basically do whatever I asked of them. And most times, I didn't even have to ask them. They actually asked me if they could help in any way. These two girls were big time leaders in our school, both vocally and by example, and 
They were very well respected by their peers and their teachers and their coaches. This year has been a very strenuous and stressful one for all of us, but especially athletic directors who had to change course many times throughout the year and make many adjustments. There were many more tournaments to run for elementary schools on top of dealing with all the high school athletics and without students to help, we may not have survived the year. This is our chance to say thank you and that is why we have the prestigious Harvey Morrison Award. So I would like to thank you and we, miss, we will miss you big time next year, Emily and Elise. Be sure to come back and visit. Remember to always bleed green and white. So we're going to move on to the awards for cross country. The Tenaris Award for Cross Country this year goes to Hannah Hamanen from Superior. <laughs> Hannah is a natural runner. She placed first in the city meet and second at NASA. She then followed that up with an outstanding performance placing 28th at OFSA. Superior Heights appreciates all the effort you have put in over your high school career and are proud of the athlete and person you have become. Congratulations, Hannah. The Tenaris Award for Basketball goes to Sadie Grawbudger. Despite not playing last year and this year being different with all the restrictions, this did not stop Sadie from excelling at the sport of basketball. Sadie leads her team with quiet distinction and is an extremely humble player and person and truly a pleasure to coach. She supports all her teammates and is focused on improving not only individually but as a team. Sadie is also able to balance basketball, school, where she excels academically and a part-time job as a sandwich artist. <laughs> Superior Heights is extremely proud of her and excited to see what next year has in store as she is only in grade 11 and will be back leading the Steelhawks once again. Congratulations, Sadie, this year's Tenaris Award winner for basketball. The Tenaris Award for Volleyball goes to Taya Veneri. <laughs> Taya was a force all season for the Cora Colts. She captained her team to a first place finish in the league and city championships. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, she was unable to participate in the NASA championship. She dominated the middle both as a hitter and a blocker and always made key plays at critical times to score a needed point. Taya will continue her volleyball career next year as she has committed to play at St. Clair College while she studies pre-health sciences. Even though you will be a saint next year, um, remember you are forever a Colt. Congratulations, Taya. Cora will miss you next year. The Tenaris Award for Curling goes to Ashlyn Acorn from White Pines. <laughs> Ashlyn was the driving force behind the White Pines boys curling team. During the city final, the team was down by six with only two ends to play. She convinced the boys to play one additional end to see how it turned out. They went on to take six points to tie and then stole two to win in the last end. It was a comeback that might not have happened if not for her belief and encouragement of the team. Congratulations, Ashlyn. The Tenaris Award for Badminton goes to Madeline Clement. Madeline has proven that hard work and determination pay off. She led her team to a divisional and aggregate city championship 
by winning senior ladies singles. Cora is proud of the work that you put in and will miss you next year. Congratulations, Madeline. The Hazel Morrison Track and Field Award goes to Cassie Sarter. Cassie tore up the track this season. She was first in senior girls 100 meter and 200 meter and part of the first place relay team. She again excelled at NASA, winning a senior girls 100 meter and 200 meter. Cassie is always striving to perfect her te technique and is always seeking to get better. Congratulations on a great year, Cassie. The Tenaris Award for Soccer goes to Ava Evans from St. Louis. <laughs> Ava was key this year to the Knights, Knights' success. Her defensive tenacity on the pitch as a midfielder limited opposing teams to only three goals against all season. But it was her ability to control the momentum of the game offensively that made Ava such a valuable asset to St. Mary's College. Ava St. Mary's is extremely proud of you and wishes you luck next year. Congratulations, Ava. I would like to invite up Jillian Yasubi to present the Tenaris Award for Academic Excellence. Thank you. I'm very excited to announce that this year's recipient is Emily James from White Pines. If you've been keeping track, Emily has been nominated three times tonight, which demonstrates what a well-rounded student athlete she is. Her academic success over her high school career is absolutely outstanding, and she also capped it off this year by being named valedictorian of White Pines. Her average in her STEM classes is an astonishing 97%. She's an amazing leader, both inside and outside of the athletics at White Pines. She's a kind-hearted, respectful student who would do anything for anyone who needed her help, both fellow students and teachers. Emily will be continuing her studies at Queen's University, taking her Bachelor of Science, specializing in math. Congratulations. <laughs> she is so deserving of this award, and all of White Pines is so incredibly proud of her. The winner of the Tenaris Award in Academic Excellence is Emily James. Well, that brings us to the Graduating Athlete of the Year. This year's winner is Madeline Clement from Cole. <laughs> Madeline is a five-sport athlete, excelling at everything she does. In basketball, Madeline was a key member of the senior team that won the City and League Championship. She plays with incredible anticipation, excellent positioning, and impeccable court sense, which makes her a defensive stalwart on the court. Madeline also stands out on volleyball. She was a setter and key offensive contributor on the court. Her court sense and communication skills allow her to excel in this position. Next came badminton. Her agility and conditioning make her ideal in a singles player and rarely will anything drop on the side of the court. After badminton season is finished, Madeline played soccer and participated in track. In track, Madeline was again a city champion in the four by 100 meter relay and contributed to the senior girls aggregate title. She finished third in the 200 meter at the city and NASA and demonstrated what a true warrior she is. She ran in a relay at OFSA with a broken toe. <laughs> soccer is where she really shines through. Um, she was an integral member of the soccer team. She can and did play any position on the field. She held the defensive line, only allowing two goals from live play. Unfortunately, her soccer career came to a premature end as she broke her toe early in the second game of the Offset Championship. Madeline plays with pride, 
She bleeds gold and is the first one to stick up for her teammates on the court. Madeline will leave us this year and be continuing her studies at Brock University, taking concurrent education, majoring in physical education and biology. Madeline is a true athlete. She entered grade nine, a feisty, hardworking girl who wanted to participate in everything. She leaves us a fierce, remarkable, confident woman who has won it all. Thank you, Madeline, for everything you have done for the Cora Athletics Program. We will miss you next year and always remember pride, passion, purpose, forever a cult. I'd like to invite Madeline up. Thank you. It is truly an honor to be accepting this award and join the previous recipients, many of whom I've looked up to and admired. First of all, I'd like to thank Tenaris for sponsoring this banquet and continuing to recognize the excellence of female athletics in Sault Ste. Marie. I would also like to thank the Sault Ste. Marie Women's Athletic Association for giving me the opportunity to accept this award. And a big congratulations to the other nominees who have also been recognized for their commitment and dedication to athletics. I've had the pleasure of competing against each of you over my high school career and you've challenged me to better myself in every game. I would also like to acknowledge and thank all of my coaches, teachers, peers, and teammates who have supported me through these crazy four years. I would like to take the time to personally acknowledge the following individuals. First of all, Mr. Ayako, who never missed a game for any sport. Also, Mr. Caruso, who I've only had as my principal for one year and has made a tremendous effort to be at every game. We definitely notice when you show up and we genuinely appreciate it. Mr. Williams, Ms. Shamus, and Coach Terry for encouraging me and believing in me. In grade nine, I was hesitant to try out for basketball, but you build up my confidence with every practice and game. Also, Tiff for dealing with me for more years than she had to. Coach Jeremy, who saw my potential in volleyball. Coach Dave, who coached me for multiple teams. And finally, Mr. Criven and Miss P for coaching my favorite sport of them all, badminton. It would take me all night to thank each of the individuals who have had a significant impact on me as an athlete. So instead, I want to thank you all for your time and commitment to me as a student athlete. It truly means a lot. I'd also like to thank my parents for the countless hours they've spent driving me to each of my activities and their constant encouragement. Thank you for allowing me to participate in all of these activities and sacrificing so much of your time. You've always been my biggest fans. For the last three years, high school has not been easy for anyone. Online learning, missing out on family and friends, and worst one of all, there are no sports. I feel as though I can speak for all the athletes when I say how grateful I am that sports were brought back this year. I will forever be grateful for high school sports, especially because I'm so, I'm lucky enough to call myself a Cora Cold. All of my best friends and memories, are rooted through athletics. None of this could have been possible without the help of my teammates, who I now consider my best friends and family. <laughs> I could not have asked for better people to have played with, and I'm so thankful to have met all of you. We shared laughs, smiles, and tears this year. Tears this year, and it was an honor to have played with such amazing people. I know you will all do great things this year, and I'm excited to finally be in the stands to cheer you on. Thank you for helping me make these the best four years of my life. Forever a cold lead gold girls. Thank you, Madeline. Um, so that wraps up our night. If I could ask uh, before we leave, all award winners come to the stage for a photo and an interview. And I'd like to thank um, Virginia for being our MC tonight.
And again, thank you to the Marconi for putting on a great dinner and to Neris for sponsoring the event. Thank you and have a great night.